Thanks for tuning in. This is Optimus Commission with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Smokescreen. One of their recent uh, upscale versions of their Cyberverse figure. Giving them a, a more classic feel. And it's really gotten a lot of people in a hissy. Somewhere along the lines, people started thinking that Hasbro is going to be replacing all of their figures with these simplified Transformers, and that's simply not the case. I, I honestly don't know where everybody is getting that information, but it's not true. Yes, these are, and I think it's a great way for kids to have bigger size figures and have fun with them and be able to transform them really quick and keep their attention span long enough where they'll keep playing with these, hopefully making them longtime fans instead of giving them a Revenge of the Fallen leader class off Optimus Prime where they can't transform it so it ruins the play value but in terms of this figure you see that it does feature five steps it's got the nice beast hunter uh, packaging for it come around here to the back of the package and you got one two three four five steps and that's it uh, he does come with some axe looking weapons I, I don't believe those are the ones that came with this cyberverse figure uh, it's been a long time since I've actually uh, played with that so kind of curious I'll, I'll have to go back and look that up but uh, for the packaging this is what you have for it it is pretty standard in what we've gotten before and so nothing all that new or special but that's about it so without further ado let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have smoke screen opened up and out of his packaging and yeah he's exactly like the cyberverse figure uh, no real difference in terms of the molding or anything like that uh, as i said he does come with these two axes which are really nice uh, they replace his that gun that had a bit of a saw on the bottom of it but these are really nice weapons i, I really dig them and you can peg him here on the side uh, even the little pegs here on the side and on the top are uh, identical to what we got with the cyberverse one so sticking that there and then kind of scooting a little closer to the camera. Uh, you can see it kind of replicates a gun look, I, I guess, with these. Uh, you can take this and you can put it there at the top too. So whatever you want to do. Uh, nice weapons though. I really do dig them. And they, they are a really nice uh, copper color. I really do like the coloring on here. Uh, the transformation, as I said, is exactly the same. The The engineering is, is the same. It's just bigger. And uh, it, it unfairly has gotten a lot of these figures the, the, the dub of being the upscale knockoffs. I, I really don't like calling them that, but basically uh, the knockoff companies uh, stole that idea and started upscaling a lot of figures. So to transform them, you just, and, and you can see, really nice card. I, I, I dig the card mode. It's not accurate to how we looked at the end of the series, but you know, whatever. So you rotate this down, then these spread apart, and you fold these down just like so, and then you got his feet. Then you come around here, you separate this. If it didn't already separate, well, rotate that whole thing down like so, and then you can tuck that down. I mean, you can see what's, what's happening here. It's really a very easy transformation you just fold a lot of stuff out so rotate that around bring these arms around and keep that in place bring this up and you got a little notch right in there that fit into the wheel well here i guess you call it fit that there rotate that down like so and keep that like that uh, do that on this side as well you bring this down and then you got two little nut or uh, uh groove sections on the well you can't see it right uh there and there they're going to come down and tab in to a uh, little nub nubs right there just got to line those up and that uh will lock these little side panels into place so bring that back up get that there and lock that in there and then you rotate the arms down and you bring them down like so. And here you have Prowl in his uh, robot mode. Um, I, again, it, it is a simple transformation. It, it's five steps, very simple. I know it's probably hard to see because white figure, white background, what are you gonna do? Now, uh, though, I, I mean, honestly, it, like I said, it, it's it's not a collector toy. Th this, is, this is designed for kids, and I really do think that kids are going to like these. It's really giving kids the, the, the whole, kind of like G1 feel, I guess. I mean, we got Transformers as kids that just had shoulders that moved up and down. They had legs that moved forward and back. I mean, we're kind of lucky that it moves in and out. Uh, we're we're kind of lucky that they're not actually attached like this. 
at the bottom part. I mean, it's that's how a lot of G1 transformers work. Um, so it, it, it is much like that. And then his, uh, his hand weapons just fit nicely into uh, the, the molded hands here. I mean, I, I would like it if they gave extra joints to the figures. Uh, I mean, this would be a great figure if it had elbows and knees, but they're keeping it simple. Uh, people have complained that if they keep it simple, they should keep the price the same. Well, it, that I, 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 I don't necessarily agree with all that much. I mean, the cost of the plastic and stuff is still there, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not too put off by the price of these, to be totally honest, but they're good toys. They're, they're Like I said, they're designed for kids. These aren't meant for adult collectors, and they aren't completely ignoring us. I mean, we recently just saw the, the unveiling of the Leader Class Generations Jetfire, and that's absolutely a gorgeous-looking toy that I would venture to guess is not as simple to transform as this. So we're still getting those. It's just they're making some more for kids, and we've got kid size or kid sort of transformers for the longest time it's not a new concept so i do hope that kids like this and i really do help hope that they succeed and sell well but the, the articulation as i said the head is locked the the shoulders move forward and back they move in and out they move here at the the hip forward and back as well as in and out and that's it for his articulation you got some nice red paint detail up there on his head area you got a little bit of blue bits for his eyes you got the nice autobot logo there in the front so um that's about it uh for the transformation back again very simple just unpeg this and i'm just going to flop that forward that'll let you rotate these bits down detach this rotate this around and then you want to uh, spin the arms and get that nestle nestle ugh, nestle nestle whatever you know what i mean up there bring that up rotate that around and get it fitted right up there it's still a pain in the butt to get these bits to stay lined up so you have that fold these back take this rotate this around tab them together right there give that a nice little push again and bring this up and then line everything up and squish everything together and here you have smoke screen back in his vehicle mode again very simple transformation you're, you're not going to get a lot with these uh, but what you are going to get i think are a lot of really happy kids so beyond that that's about it for the <laughs> the review of the the new deluxe class uh, smoke screen i wouldn't be surprised if we get a prowl version of this at some point in time but beyond that that's about it guys so once again i want to thank you for tuning in this has been optobotomous keep in touch with me find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at facebook.com slash teambotomous and by following me over on twitter at twitter.com slash optobotomous also, don't forget to check out my new website at OptibotomusReviews.com. And if you like this review, don't forget to please rate, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.